Hello everybody, Maven here. In this week in Trials of Osiris, we finally got access to the Adept Cataphract that can roll with bait and switch. It's the first heavy GL to get that perk. So is that gonna be better than something like the Wendigo or Ragnar that can get Explosive Light? Well, Explosive Light's a very good damage perk, but Bait and Switch is probably considered to be the best damage perk in the entire game. And especially more so since on this GL, you can pair that with Auto Loading Holster or even Envious Assassin, where you can load your entire reserves into your magazine. So the DPS potential is up there and could potentially be the best DPS in the entire game. So we're gonna do some testing, so let's get to it. Don't forget to drop a like and I hope you enjoy. So this auto loading holster bait and switch role is primarily the role we'll be using in this video. Unfortunately, I did not yet get the envious bait and switch role to drop yet. And if that's a deal breaker for you for this video, then I apologize and I thank you for clicking on. But in my defense, the auto loading holster role is probably still the more practical role to use since it requires zero setup. It's more consistent and this needs setup. So it's still a very good role to try out. So here are the possible roles that the cataphract can get. If it's for PVP, this is the role you want, but for PVE, the only perk to pay attention to in the right side column is bait and switch, and in the left side column is auto loading holster and envious assassin. You're gonna wanna pair that with spike grenades with quick launch and a handling masterwork and then throw on adept big ones. So bait and switch is considered to be the best damage perk in the game because it gives you a 35% damage buff for 10 seconds. That's much more than something like Vorpal only giving you a 10% damage buff. So the question is, is this going to be a stronger DPS strat than the current meta Apex Predator paired with Gallarhorn? So we're going to do a good old DPS comparison against Ferizia, the ogre boss of the Grasp of Avarice dungeon. And for this testing, we will have triple surge mods and one reserve mod for each of our weapons, because that is typically the setup you would have for any raid or dungeon boss encounter. And in these clips, I do have a buddy with me, but that's just to give me the pack hunter buff from Gallarhorn and also to help distract Ferizia so I don't get flinched like crazy. But just so you know, there are no debuffs being applied in this damage phase. So with the Apex Predator strat, we hit 2.3 million. That's a good starting place. Now let's move on to the Cataphract. So we hit 2.17 million, which is extremely close, just over 100k off. Also, I probably could have done that DPS a little more optimally. Also, we had auto loading holster and not envious assassin with our entire reserves loaded in. So with envious, it definitely would have been ahead. And also I was using that Cartesian coordinate. And remember when I was using Apex, I had solar surge. So my Cartesian was also benefiting from that solar surge. When I was using the cataphract, I had strand surge. So my Cartesian was not buffed so we lost a little bit of damage there as well so i would say that if you had the envious role this is possibly the new meta i think this may surpass rocket launchers and also for solo play this is by far the strongest dps strat you can do it easily beats out things like leviathan's breath for solo play but now the next question is, does this beat out the explosive light roll that the Regnant and Wendigo can get, as well as the Cataphract? So explosive light is going to buff your damage by 60% and it can stack up to six times. And I always plug this video, but I did that video on do not use a rocket launcher when playing solo, showing that the explosive light Wendigo was indeed the better option. But now we may have a new king, so let's check it out. So we didn't even break 2 million. So yes, indeed, the Cataphract is the strongest GL in the game by far. 
However, the explosive light roll isn't completely useless because it has better burst damage, so it's better for different kinds of activities because your first six shots are gonna do plus 60% damage, whereas with bait and switch, your first six shots, only five of them are gonna do plus 35% damage. So explosive light is by far burstier. So we're gonna do a little test here where we shoot three shots against Carl, starting off with bait and switch, and you can see it doesn't even drop him under two bars of health. But then when we get to the explosive light roll, it chunks him for a lot more and also requires no setup whatsoever, other than gathering orbs, obviously. So when you have one reserve mod equipped, you can hold 18 shots in your heavy grenade launcher. And with explosive light, only six of those are being buffed by 60% damage. Whereas with bait and switch, say you got to proc it two times. So 16 of your total shots are going to get plus 35% damage. I'm not about to do the math, but you can see that in the long-term damage phase, the bait and switch roll clearly just jumps ahead, but the burst definitely goes to the explosive light roll. So like I said, the explosive light roll is going to be more practical to use in general play, just any kind of content that is not specifically a boss encounter. So like Grandmaster Nightfalls, for example, so you can burst down those champions and not have to worry about proccing something like bait and switch. You only got to get orbs and in that tougher kind of content where people are chaining supers back to back and have all these different mods, orbs are super abundant and you don't really have to worry about that. But when it comes to those boss phases, I seriously feel that the Cataphract may be the new Destiny 2 DPS meta. Like, I don't know if you watch, like, the sweaty speedruns, and people have utilized this strat with the Cold Comfort with Envious Assassin Bait and Switch, along with the Radiant Dance Machines, so that they can load four shots into the mag and then use Radiant Dance Machines to shoot off the rest of your reserves. But with this grenade launcher with Envious Assassin loading your entire reserves into your current magazine, it just completely defeats the need to have to go on Radiant Dance Machines Hunter because you can just use any class and just already have all of your reserves loaded and ready to go. And also the fact that you don't have to reload at all means that your DPS output is going to be much more than that of like an envious bait and switch cold comfort for sure. So there you have it guys. Final verdict if you're wondering if this weapon is worth grinding, absolutely must have. If you're a hardcore PvE player, you gotta get this. Good luck out there in trials. It's getting more and more sweaty as time goes by. So best of luck. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and drop a comment because that really helps out the algorithm. So I'd greatly appreciate it. And if you are new here, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you here. And with that, I will catch you on the next video. See you later.